In today's video I will survive in a Polaris igloo with non-stop PvP, getting rich and much more, all completely solo. Make sure to drop a like, let's aim for 200 likes, also subscribe to not miss any future videos. Last video's mythical giveaway winner is shown right now and today we're going to do another one, which is a lovely pirate hat. To win this make sure to that you've liked, subscribed and comment something below, channel members also have a higher chance of winning. Alright boys, we're currently joining Polaris, completely solo, fresh start, I have absolutely nothing. Now today I actually do have a plan of what I want to do, first let's just change the FOV, but yeah, when you log in the server you get a Krizzy, and an extra mag, and a medkit, that's, that's all you get. There are a few kids, but I will not be using them today at all. I will just use this vector that we got. Now I do have a plan what I wanted to do actually today, I want to build in an igloo. Now there are a lot of igloos around this map, and today I will actually try to survive in one. I don't know how it's going to go, I have never done this before. I have literally never built in an igloo in this map, so I don't know how big it is. I, I have been in them obviously, but I don't know if it's a good idea, especially if I do get myself some high tier loot. But yeah, then we're gonna do the all the normal stuff. We're going to do hard beacons, we're going to do dead zone runs, and hopefully some base raids. Depends on what there is in the server. The server is just normal loot, it's one times loot, nothing too high. So we may have to grind a little bit, obviously, but I do also want to finish myself the main questline when it comes to uh, adventure, so that we can get ourselves the penumbra, and uh, and there's somebody shooting over here with a block. It's going to be our first kill, hopefully. It's somewhere, somewhere around here. It's fuck right now, like, I can barely see anything, man. I hate it, bro. Anything good from here? Come on. Oh, Gump out there, perfect. That, that's actually really good. We'll put that right in there. Usually in this map, whenever you hear shots in this town, they're always by the gun store, yeah. The gun store is here, yeah, he's right over there. He's clueless. There you go, he's dead. And when you kill someone, there's moaning sound effect, nice. <laughs> what? Okay, that, that's weird. Alright, well, we'll take everything this man had. Bro, there's a Brenter here, what? Oh my god, there we go, we got Gunpowder and Brenter already in our vault, that's insane. There's a lot of guns in here, we got ourselves a Merlin. We got ourselves another Vector too that that dude had. Let's salvage all of the clothes. We can make ourselves a bedroll. Perfect, all we need is just to get ourselves like an axe or a saw so that we can start chopping down trees. There's a, another shotgun here that's actually really, really good. Bro, I already have a full inventory. There's another Crazy here, what? We got three. Bro, that's insane, we already got insane loads. But we can't build a base. All we need, honestly, is just a door since we're gonna do an igloo. So I'll just try to get myself to an igloo. We already have a door made. All we need is just one sheet. And yeah, we would living be living in. And we will need some metal and some wood for crates, though. It's going to be the only issue we will have. I could loot here around a bit. Maybe I'll get myself a jackhammer or a chainsaw or something, actually. There's an airdrop passing by as well. I don't know if I should go for it. Don't think it's a good idea to go for it this early though. An airdrop happens once every hour in the server. So we will definitely be going on in the future for more airdrops, 100%. Are you guys trying to start your own Unter network, whether it's for survival, roleplay, or simply to create a private server for you and your friends? Then make sure to check out Pine Hosting. Pine Hosting makes setting up your server quite easily. They have very good performance servers and they are a very user-friendly interface that is super easy to learn. When I first started into server hosting my own network, I literally had no idea how to do anything. But with Pine Hosting's navigation, I learned it quite quickly. With server locations scattered across the globe, the pricing was also very cheap. They also have a variety of games where you can buy servers including Rust, Ark and Minecraft. A standout feature is the ability to install plugins and mods just by clicking once. I already have a server with another provider, no worries, they'll provide personalized assistance to help you migrate your server. If you're ready to start your own unturned servers, don't miss the link in the description below, and make sure to use the code LDG for an incredible 30% discount, and let's get straight into the video. Alright, so I'm gonna loot this military area, there's an igloo somewhere close. Um, this place would be good actually to come and do horde beacons, would be very good. Since not a lot of people come here, it's unmarked, and there's always a few zombies here. They always drop something good, man. Yeah, we're gonna switch to military clothing as well, obviously. We, we gotta need that. Ourselves a lot of metal, so salvaging all of the knives. Because we're gonna need a lot of metal if we're gonna make lockers. And we're just gonna skip crates. Pretty sure it takes six sheets, and each sheet takes four scraps, so that, that's gonna be quite a lot. But yeah, we kind of have some... Nice attachments on our vector too. I may go to haste quickly so that I can try to get myself a broken gas mask as early as possible. And then we would just need to farm a bit of lotuses. Oh, Bevlar. Yo, we can just take our pants off and there we go. Mercenary instantly. Lovely. Yeah, we're going to haste by the way. And I'm going to hope that the uh, boss is not dead. And armor plates too. And from there we'll get ourselves 
A broken gauss mask. That's all I want from there. If I get a grenade launcher or a sentry barrel, I'll be kind of disappointed. There's an there's actually an igloo here. I don't know if I should live in here actually. Yeah, you know what? This is gonna be our igloo. We got ourselves an igloo. It's close to Haze, close to the military location that I said. There's a truck close as well for getting ourselves lotuses. And we're close to the main bridge. And over there we can get construction items. So yeah, this is gonna be our our igloo. But at some point, I'll probably actually build myself, like, an external base so that I can spread the loot around. I'll have two bases. This is going to be my main base, the igloo. And then I'll have myself a secondary base with another bed, just in case we get raided. I'll probably build it very close, but we'll focus on that later on. Right now, we'll just focus on our igloo, making sure that it's as safe as possible. If we get ourselves an armored door then that would be perfect but we still gotta get ourselves some more items for that obviously i'm probably gonna go farm some metal now since we're close to the mines should only take us a few hits there yeah and over here there's also an observer that's very close so that's perfect every time we see one we could just kill it yeah it's right over here that's so close to our base if people are killing it we could definitely know and just kill them so perfect and yeah from here let's hope that nobody actually farmed the pickaxe still here Yep, it's still here, perfect. I'm just gonna get myself as much metal as possible so that I can make my first lockers in my base. Alright, so I got ourselves uh, two lockers, which is going to be enough. And to make another armored, we still need a blowtorch and everything, which we don't have yet. But I think these two lockers will be a bit more than enough for, in terms of storage for now. But we still got a can. Let's just put it inside. So now we're probably just gonna do a full run around the map, try to get ourselves some loot. I'll probably avoid the military base. I am kind of scared that there's going to be a tower very close and people just inside sniping with some air biters or whatever. So I'm probably gonna avoid. So we'll go to... Some towns, there's always people there, we'll try to kill them. We'll go to the construction under the bridge as well, and maybe we can go to Haze too. My boss is here. Amazing, I was hoping that he was here, man. If he wasn't here, it was just been a waste of time. And please a broken gas mask. Oh, perfect. I couldn't be happier right now. Just put that in vault. There we go, man. So now what we have to do is just get ourselves a Lotus, and we'll get ourselves the filter, and bam. We would be able to go to the dead zone quite early. Already got the roses, so we just gotta get some cyan crystals, which we can have right next to our base, and then we're just gonna have to cut some copper coil, which we can go to the unmarked ship. From there, hopefully we'll get everything. Alright, so we're going to the safe zone. I'm gonna get all the quests done. So whenever we kill the observer, we can start with the progression for it as well. This dude's looking at me. Hello. Man, we're starting to get some good loot as well. Got ourselves an elite spec, which is beautiful to have. Let's finish this dude so that we can finish this quest and get ourselves some coins. Claim this one, even though I don't know if I'll do it now. Let's talk to this dude as well. He just needs some guns. If I get one, I'll come back. Most importantly though, oh, somebody logged off here, but nothing good. Yeah, most importantly is this dude. Let's also get Executioner, so that if we kill zombies, it would actually help us with getting coins. And we gotta do this quest as well for fishing. Can make ourselves a wooden fishing rod very easily from here. But I cannot buy one, I don't think I have enough coins. There's a dude driving a car. Bro, die. There we go. Bro, these modes are so goofy, man. <laughs> I don't like them. Yeah, my guy didn't have anything. He had a grenade, though. I'll actually take those. Alright, not bad. I'm back in base after finishing a few quests. Now, I do think that since it's an igloo base, people won't actually try to raid it. I don't think I've ever raided an igloo base in my life. Except like once or twice. Usually I try to aim for a, a larger base. Because usually igloos, since they're just one door, people just place a door and they're empty. So hopefully people think the same way as me. And we're gonna make ourselves the high tier fishing rod as well. There we go. At some point I'll go in the safe zone and just fish. Very easy to get loot from there. Especially copper coil, sign crystals. And we can get a lot of money. Alright, we got ourselves another locker So Let's put this bad boy on top of that. I don't think I'm able to. Let's salvage this biohazard roll and the... Gauss mask, I'm gonna put that right over there. Alright, third locker. 
has been placed. Let's salvage this knife, we don't need it. And let's put the uh, gauze mask and the biohazard roll back on the floor. All right, we're gonna go another run. This time I'll try to aim to get myself some copper coil. Probably go to the ship next then. I think that would be a, a good idea, so let's do that. Alright, so what I'm gonna do next is I just got an axe and I am going to chop down as much trees as possible and I'm going to build like a fake base. Won't really be fake, I'll just split the loot 50-50. So if one base gets raided, the half of the loot would still be safe. Especially if the igloo gets raided, then they will be in this base. I'll build it close to the igloo though. I won't build it too far. But I'll probably just build a 2 by one I don't want to build anything that insane. Just for now, maybe in the future I'll upgrade it. Alright, so an hour has passed, that means that an airdrop is passing by. I am going to go for it. It would actually be high worth it if I do get the airdrop. There's always penumbras, gas masks, and PMC kind of stuff in there too. I was looking for a base place to build the base though, I do have a lot of wood on me. So I just placed the foundation. Yeah, the airdrop's not gonna land too far away, so that's good. So I do have a little bit of time for me to place some of the buildables, place ourselves the triangular as well. I'm gonna make myself a few pillars and then the rest of the wood, I'll just put it in base for now. In the igloo base and we'll go for it. Now there's probably gonna be people there actually, so we, we actually gotta be careful that I don't die. I'm not gonna take any high tier loot with me. I stack all of the logs, yeah, it's literally right next to my base. So if I'm getting raided on one side, then the other side I could easily counter and defend. Let's pick up all of this wood, we'll put them into logs and I'll just put them... I on the floor in a locker and we'll go straight for the drop. And we do have a lot of space in here, so that's good. Alright, beautiful. We have a lot of logs, bro. We can build actually, a, I think, a larger base than just a 2 by one Let's get ourselves some dressings and here we go. Let's go for this drop. Let's hope we don't die and let's hope we get ourselves some good loot. So the airdrop is going to land somewhere here. Yeah, there it is. Looks like nobody's here, bro. Let's just do slash home and let's take every... Bro, there's PMC, gunpowder. In terms of guns, there's nothing that crazy, but... The PMC is huge. A lot of SMGs by the looks of it. A lot of kinnies. Yeah, we're back. Alright, perfect. That's actually really good. Right, let's make ourselves a few crates with this wood, actually. For a wardrobe on this map, we're going to need uh, leather, which we don't have. Alright, no problem. We'll just make crates. No big issue. Let's put them right over here. Yeah, we got ourselves for four crates. Alright, our igloo base is starting to look pretty cool, too. Very small. Do have a bit of loot in it, especially since we just got this airdrop. Kind of surprised how nobody showed up. Either that or I just arrived literally too early. But if there's more air... Yeah, I hear shots. I think that's over there. We'll put the PMC there. I'm not gonna run around with it, obviously. Bro, there's a guy on the edge of the bridge. I don't know if he saw me, though. He's just... He's coming over. Oh, he dropped off. Oh, that's perfect then. I could easily kill him. I could just jump on wherever he is. Yeah, he's just right here. There we go. He's dead. Uh, okay, he had a kinney, a bunch of ammo, pickaxes. He had three pickaxes. I think he, there was a body here and he was looting him. I don't know what was going on. But there we go. Easy loot. Oh, we got a jackhammer. Perfect. Love that. Someone is shooting, bro. Yeah, he had crazy. I'm gonna kill him. I think he's just killing zombies, though. Yeah, pretty sure he's just killing zombies. And he's somewhere back here. He may be here. It's military area. Oh, he's right there. Oh, there we go. He's dead. Bro, these moaning sound effects every single time they're scaring me. Oh, he only had a, a vector. All right, no problem. Yeah, they were just leaving a bunch of stuff on the floor. He could have made meds and so on, but I don't know what he was doing. But yeah, he's dead. Bro, I'm getting shot at. Where the hell is he? Oh, he's back here. There we go, he's dead. How the hell did he not kill me? I was literally not even on the game at that point. Alright. He's gear, yeah, grill. Bunch of junk. Take everything. How the hell did he not kill me? He has a mercenary vest, man. Mercenary helmet, so... Not bad. I'll take everything. He has the monocular. He killed, um, the penguin. Gunther, whatever his name is. Benedict.
All our shots going around. It's very close. It could be at the military, uh, the police checkpoint, actually. I think that's where it is, to be honest. I can make lotuses as well. I was literally about to do that. I have them all in my vault. Oh, yeah, they're down there. There's two, actually. I gotta be careful then. Let's get ourselves a full magazine. Let's jump off. Yeah, they're running away. I'm not gonna shoot from here. I'm gonna follow them. Till I get a chance to kill both of them at the same time. What the hell are- Oh, yeah, he's right over there. Yeah, they're clueless about me. They have no clue. They need to stop moving, man. I don't know what they're doing. Oh, he's right- Oh, he saw me. Oh, this is bad. He's right here. Alright, one guy dead. Oh, both dead. Oh my god. How did they not kill me? Oh, they're geared too. This guy has two guns. This guy has more loot. Yeah, this guy is geared. Whoa, let's take everything then. Alright, let's 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 take all of this loot. Since we're here, I think I'm gonna actually go do the lotuses really quickly though as well. Before more people show up. I really hope that I'm not dying though. I have all of the items in my vault. Let's get ourselves to full HP too. There we go. Drive. Let's take everything. Alright, here we go. Please give me doubles. Alright, first one. Another one. Double. Another one. Alright, we got enough. Let's get the Bevlar. We got ourselves five lotuses. That's actually perfect. That's more than enough. Second airdrop. Obviously going to go for it. Let me get into the second base for now and just put... Some of the loot in here, especially some extra guns, so to defend the base raid on the igloo if that were to happen. Some ammo, so... Alright, airdrop is gonna land right in this puddle in front of us, and there's a lot of shots. I could go try to kill him, but I don't think it's a good idea. There's there's a lot of PvP happening. I'm just gonna wait for the airdrop, get it, and, and run away, man. That's the plan here. There's somebody else. There's at least three people here. This airdrop did bring a lot of dudes. And my vault is full of lotuses. I didn't drop them. So I can't vault anything. Airdrop is about to land very soon, so... Bro, I'm terrified right now. This can end, end very badly. I could just die and lose everything. But if I manage to do this, it'll be so much good loot. I'm gonna hide in the bush. Hopefully nobody shows up from behind me. More shots. Airdrop. Airdrop landed. Let's go. Okay, yeah, this is much better than the other one. There's two Penumbras, Brenter, there's a Walnut, a lot of guns, a lot of ammo. Yeah, we got everything. Come on, man. And we're home, bro. I love this. Oh, what? Bro, I just dehydrated too. Oh my god, I did not even realize that. Bro, there's no way I'm this lucky. If I stayed there for a second longer, I would have died to dehydration, man. Nah, that's crazy. Alright, so huge update. First things first is we learned the key, uh, we finished the quest, and I did craft it, and we're going to do a dead zone run. We're gonna try to get ourselves the boss at the bottom of the dead zone as well, and we're gonna try to get ourselves as much zombies as possible So We'll finish the quest, get ourselves the penumbra as well. Let's hope we don't die, that's really what I'm kind of worried for, that I'll die to a player or something. There are players though, I'll try to kill them obviously, but I just don't want to die, man, I don't want to die. I got my gas mask, my only gas mask in my vault. Got the key too. So here we go. It sounds like somebody's PvPing out there, bro. I think that's a melee. So I'm just gonna kill this bozo and then I'll home. Yep, there we go. It's home. But yeah, got ourselves quite a ton of loot. Honestly, I was expecting more. We didn't get a single gump out there. Which sucks. Alright, we're back in our lovely little igloo. We've been here for quite a while. We've been here for around like four hours and our igloo is still completely untouched. We did not get door camped or whatever. None of that. So it's pretty nice that our igloo is still safe. Really happy with that. Alright, got ourselves an armored door too. So now our base is literally the safest that it can be. Unless I build externals outside. Alright, see what we get from the military crate. Oh, we got an air bite, sir. Some gunpowder, SWAT backpack, bunch of bevlar. You know what? Not that bad. This sniper is super OP. It's like the strongest sniper that you can get in Polaris. It's perfect for PvPing. 
think it's a one-shot headshot, so uh, it's nice to see. So I'm gonna craft myself a Detto and some charges. Unfortunately, I did not find any base raids out there, so I don't know if we're going to raid. It would be good if we do, but just in case we don't, I mean, we still got everything that we needed, and our igloo is still fine. Our third airdrop is landing here. I'm gonna try to do the same as I did earlier. Let's go for it. Oh, there's a dude there. Go die. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, there was another guy, man. Of course they're a duo, bro. Yeah, they got the airdrop. Yep, they're a duo. They're together. Oh, man. All right, back in safe zone. Let's finish this quest. There we go. Easy penumbra. Beautiful. We got ourselves like three penumbras now. And we can upgrade a lot more, so... Oh, somebody's shooting. Bro, I think that's literally the observer, actually. Could be the observer. We got the penumbra on me. I'm gonna be careful that I don't die. You know what? Actually, I'm gonna put it really quickly in here. In this industrial crate. Let's put this bad boy there. Let's take ourselves two meds. And let's go see where... Oh, that sounds so close. He's using a flare gun, bro. Oh, here he is. Alright, he's dead. Let's go. Oh, bro, he has a fully decked out wall. Nah, that looks so good. Alright. Let's get out of here. Alright guys, so after that, I actually did look around the map for like an hour and I tried to find base rates. I did find one, but it was completely empty. The server was pretty much dead as well after that. When I did join, there were over 20 players, but when I was ready, everyone was kind of leaving and there was no bases around. So I did leave as well. The igloo base is still standing to this day. I did join two days later and it's still completely fine. So by the looks of it, people don't raid igloo bases and I have no idea why. People just assume that they're going to be empty. So if you guys want to have yourself a quick solo base, then feel free to build an igloo base. And let me know how long your base lasts. But yeah, that's going to be it for this video, guys. I really hope that you enjoyed. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.